come. You, you said I didn't pray for you, come. You said I didn't pray for you. You said I didn't pray for you. It's not yes, true. Yes, eh? true. Always you are blaming that I'm not praying for you. Yeah. And I've been coming here. If I sit here, you go there. If I sit there, you come this time. So I thought myself, okay, I'll just sit wherever. So God should locate me. You say you will sit forever. That's I'll just sit wherever. That's why now I'm locating you. Because you don't attract a man of God to speak with you. God must direct him. Amen. You say I don't speak, I, I don't... I don't pray for you. Yes. You were telling this lady. Yes. Eh? Yeah. Why? I don't know, man of God. Eh? I don't know. We need to pray. This is your family. Amen. Surrounded by a curse where you people to marry is going to be a serious problem. Eh? Yes, man of God. You have to get a wrong partner and you have to traumatize each other. That's what is happening to you now. Yes, you must man. have a marriage whereby you don't know whether it's your husband or what. You're just together. So it's going to grow up to traumatize you. You understand? Yes, man of God. I have to pray for you to break this. Amen. So that you enjoy your marriage. Because in Amen. your family there's a spirit that fight people who marry. You hear me? Yes, man Second, I'm seeing this mind that comes to you of business. Yes. Always you, you want to make money. Yes, man of God. But most of the time you don't know where out. That's true. The, there was time where you wanted to sell. Yes. Huh? Yes. But you don't know what to sell. Because That's true. there's no capital. Yes. There's no money that comes to you where you can go and buy things. Eh? Yes, man of God. You know it's what I'm true. talking about? Yes, eh? it's true. So you thought I won't talk with you. I'll pray for you. But yes, also man. you must know that in your family, there's this case that I'm seeing now mm. where people start to develop pains in their legs. You must be careful about that. You must pray to yes. overcome that. That's the only attack. Where's your husband? Uh, now he's in Cape Town. And where are you staying? Pretoria. Where is good? It's coming back. Sorry. Where is it coming back? Uh, on on the fifteenth. And from there, where is it going? To East London. And after that? It's coming back to Pretoria. So that's how you will enjoy marriage. You find it's going, it's going, it's going, and you think it's business, whereas Satan is attacking you, and in the future it's going to be worse. You'll go for a whole month. It's true, man of God. Now you understand what I'm trying to say. I understand it. it. It's true. Eh? I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. It's so true. now, how can you say you are married? So this spirit is fighting you. I'll pray for you. Thank you, and man of God. The last thing that I want to tell you is you must wait for God's time. Amen. You understand? Yes. Yes, God will do it for you. Amen. Because you have got many questions about yourself. You it's true. must wait for God's time. You've got a desire to work for God. It's true, man of God. That's the last thing that I can tell you. Amen. And uh, no, nobody has ever told you that. It's what you are praying for. Yes, so man of God. Maybe God can choose me and use me. Yes. Because of the dreams you are having. Yes. You are a dreamer. You normally dreams. Yes. It's not true. It's true. And these dreams, you end up seeing that they are coming to pass. Yes. So let me pray for you. Come to me. What is happening now? Because I think I'm going to line. Come here. In fact, come here. I didn't want to touch her because she normally thinks she's very strong. <laughs> and then she thinks she can't fall. Yeah, she it's never fell. Eh? She never fell. So that's why I didn't touch her. Yeah.
What do you say now? I want God's direction in everything now. I don't this, want to rely on my own understanding. This man is your husband. The spirit that is attacking you is in your family. You understand? Stand together with him. God has restored everything. You understand? Huh? I need your advice, man of God. There's a lot going on now. Huh? I need your advice. I need your way forward from now on. Because I listen, had made listen, some decisions listen, before coming here. Listen, listen to this, sister. I told you about the problem in your family. You acted like this, nothing. Initially, when I speak with you, it's like this, no problem. But now there's a lot that is going on. That is why you find that sometimes uh, some people who call themselves prophets, they will love to come and tell you what you wish. Mm -hmm. Because when they reveal the secret, you will deny. When they reveal what is happening to you, what caused the problem, you will deny it. Yes, That's why you see some people just come here and say, you know what, hey, I see you coming from where, where, where. You are going to stay where, 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 whatever there. And then you clap hands, you jump up. Tomorrow nothing happened. That's the main problem now we are facing. Some people, they are afraid to tell you people your, your solution. Mm. The solution is, I mean, is in the root cause of a problem. Yes. Right now, I told you the root cause, you were supposed to be rejoicing. You go home and say, God has opened doors for me. There's no need uh, to. If, look here, I'm giving you two weeks. Eh? Yes, man of if God. If nothing is happening, you must come and see me. I will. I will, man of God. Even if something happens, I'll come eh? see you. Even if something happens, I'll come see you. Even if something what? Happened, I'll Instead come see you. Instead, you come and see me. Something happened or not, I'll come see you. Can we all stay? Say it in My name is Naomi Isosa Mayombe. I would like to confirm the prophecy of, uh, of men of God. Whatever, everything that he said is true. My husband is a doctor, so he travels a lot due to his nature of work. Sometimes uh, he's in Cape Town. We normally move at the family as well. We moved to Cape Town, we moved to Pretoria. Like, I came back to Gauteng, it was in 2017. I, I, I've been staying in Cape Town for two years now. So, everything, this is our life. We move from one province to another. So right now, we'll, we'll be moving again to East London. So he's in Cape Town right now for some work. He will go to East London where the new job is and come back to Gauteng. Uh, in January, he's leaving for East London for a year. Then we're going to follow him at the end of next year. I'm going to stay here with the kids. So everything the men of God has said, it does affect me a lot because I don't like the movement. Especially him going up and down. I don't like it. So we've been fighting every time about it. When he goes away, I stay home. You know, I always ask God, like, why? Then I'm tired of this, you know, distance. Always distance, distance. So it has been... Really affecting my life. Words of encouragement to the viewers. I am going to advise all the married women to to just keep on trusting God. There is nothing. I've been married for ten years now. In these ten years, you know, if God is not the center, believe me, your marriage is a fail. That's all I can say. Thank you. Thank you so much.